Hello, hello, Scrappy Name Spins. How are we all today? I have a new Project Life spread to share with you. This is for the Delish June Challenge, um, which was a indigo glitz, I think it was called. Um, so it was a variety of different colours mood board that we used, or I was using. Um, this is, as I said, a Project Life spread. This is for my stepdaughter's birthday, so for her album um, from last year. Um, so I just made it work, with, particularly with the blues that are in this photo, because that's part of blue and the pink, I think, were a big part of the uh, inspiration board that I'm using for this. So what I've done is gone through my Project Life cards, just to pull out some that would, um, as you can see, um, that would suit this layout well. Um, I think most of these come from the Better Together uh, core kit. I actually really like that core kit. It seems to go really well with a lot of things. Um, so yeah, so as usual, I'm making some of my own cards for this spread um, just because I wanted to, as I said, fit them in with the uh, the theme of the, the board. So, <clears throat> and as you can see, I have already cut some of this down so you haven't had to see that process um, and already placed my photos where I wanted them to go. Think. No, I don't change any around. Um, so yeah, so these are just some random photos from during the day of her getting um, presents and having cake and family photos and yeah, stuff like that. I think it's yeah, there's only one page. All right, so as you can see, I'm cutting down some of these four by six cards to make these square pockets. This is an unusual pocket page protector. Um, with the smaller squares. It was actually given to me by my auntie who had brought them accidentally. So yeah, I've been using them the way I can. So just making my top two title cards there. Um, so as I said, I'm, it is two because one's going to say happy and the other's going to say birthday. Now this is just a the six, is it six by six? can't remember. Um, the Kaiser Craft Wildflower Collection. I discovered it actually has very theme towards birthdays, um, but in the end, I actually don't use anything from it. <laughs> um, so it wasn't very helpful at all. <clears throat> now, from memory, the colours were the blue, pink, there was like a silver glittery colour, and I think that's it. Maybe. Yeah. So I've tried incorporating those colours as much as I possibly can through using the cards. Um, I always seem to tend I tend to move towards using a project life spread for mood boards and you know the colour challenges. I find that it's easier to get all the colours in on a project life spread sometimes than there is on a normal 12 by 12 layout. <clears throat> I know there's other people out there that manage to do it very well. But, yeah, I seem to like to do them this way, I've discovered. So, as you can see, I swap those two top cards around. Um, so, one one side says happy, and that's just because the happy um, word that's there, die cut, is a blue colour, and it didn't, obviously, I think I showed you, it doesn't sit well on the other, you know, blue and white card. So, I've just swapped them over and just putting some pink alphabet thickers on. To spell out birthday and fight with the little dot that goes underneath the exclamation point. Lots of editing because there was lots of fussing around making sure that it looked all right and all flowed well. So I just pop a strip that blue and white strip of paper you can see on that pink card that I'm working on in the left corner there is actually just a piece of a 12 by 12 pattern paper that I'd used previously and so I've just cut it just to pop it on there it just to give that bit of background and break between the pink and the blue a bit more so you can see that the happy stands out just just randomly thought I'd add it just for something to do Now I'm just going through my little stash of goodies there. These are actually from my um, Kidaholic kits. 
Um, if you've been watching my videos before, you know I have a little tray, this tray on my desk that holds all my ephemera and bits and pieces and printables from the kits that I get each month from them. Um, so yeah, I'm just using that to, to uh, create this spread. So I was just picking out some, I think the wood veneer arrow bits, chevrons, whatever you call them, um, to stick on that top <clears throat> bit. I just wanted to make sure that the two title cards flowed, I guess, and that it was obvious that this was one and then the birthday was the second. So just popping some sequins on. This was how I brought in the silver bits as part of that indigo glitz, um, was by adding sequins in particular. Um, I also use a flare badge that's a bit of a grey colour you'll see later on um, as well. But, yeah, this was how I made sure it sort of had that glitz look by adding some bling to it, <laughs> sequins and things like that. Fuss around with this photo for most of this video. You'll see me go back and forth. Um, I wanted something on it, but as you can see, I ended up putting it back in its pocket and not using putting anything on it this time around. But I do end up finishing it off and adding something to it, um, which you'll see towards the end. I think it's the last sort of pocket I embellish. <laughs> um, and as you can see in the background, I've just used some pattern papers I had kicking about that are matching these colours. Um, to back my photos on just to make them pop out a little bit um, but also to make sure that those colours were all incorporated in. And I've just added an, a sticker I had sticking around, a word sticker that just says go. It's some um, of Beth blowing out the candles on her cake. Um, so yeah. Now in saying that um, it's actually her, this spread or this event was hers and my son's birthday because they're born a, a year and a day apart. So yeah, as you can see I journaled on that card, um, the card says how sweet is this and then I just journal a big family birthday party for you and Hunter, you are 11 and Hunter is 10 and then I add a little, um, you can see here I'm cutting out a little tag piece that just says always lovely. I do cut it down to make it fit on the card, um, as you'll see. Oh, I think I, yeah, I fussed between that card that says leave in magic and this as to which little, um, ephemera piece was going on. Now, just using some foam tape just to bump that up. And that one's done. Nice and easy. Again, that card came from the, just double checking, I'm pretty certain it's all the Better Together kit. Um, some of the, the card pattern paper is Kayser Craft, some is Maggie Holmes, the old, one of the old collection, Chasing Dreams, I think it was, I got ages ago. Um, I brought in a little haul from Scrapping Clearly, and some are from a recent Kidaholic kit. So, yeah. Now, just moving on to this. So, this photo is... Now, we have a very interesting makeup in our family. We're a bit Brady Bunch. So, in this photo here, you will see the three kids. There's me, my partner, which is Beth's dad, and standing behind Beth is her mum. So, her mum obviously was in attendance for her birthday, so it makes for an interesting blended family. Um, not a lot of people get it, but it works, and everyone's happy, so that's all that matters. It was a nice day. Just using these little alphabet, um, they're little wood like stamps. I think they're Studio Calico, hang on. No, American Crafts even. There you go, I thought that was Studio Calico. Um, and again, they came in a kit and I am just stamping the word family on there using pink to again tie in, to again tie in um, the pink in the, in the mood board. And I don't make you have to sit through all of that because you actually have to break, it comes all stuck together, the little wood bits, um, and then I had to break them apart without actually pulling off the rubber stamp bit. So I saved you the hassle of having to watch all of that and me stamping the word out. It is a bit wonky. Um, I'm not used to using these stamps. I have very 
I barely use them. Um, but you know what? Whatever. Adds, adds character to the little piece. And I'm just adding some little wood veneer pieces and then I add some little silver sequins again just to add that, incorporate that silver grey colour that is part of the Phyllis mood board for this month. So I hope everyone is doing well and having, we have the June long weekend here in Australia. Um, it is Saturday afternoon. I've had a very busy morning. So this afternoon is spent now doing voiceovers and hopefully fitting some actual layouts, but we shall see. Um, I intend to upload this video today, which is Saturday here. Um, and then there probably will be another one tomorrow. I might double up a little bit because I've missed doing some, I think I uploaded an art journal one at the beginning of the week and I haven't been able to upload any more haven't got to doing any voiceovers. Done some layouts, but not voiceovers. Um, so, yeah, so I'm hoping to fit in some more scrappy time over this long weekend, hopefully, um, and maybe a trip out to Spotlight. I don't know if anyone else has seen um, or is like me and had given up on Spotlight with the scrappy stuff in regards to the Project Life things. They seem to have sort of wind down on getting them in um, but I saw on Facebook the other day that a, they were having a competition for the new Project Life range and um, that it was in store so I'm going out with my mum tomorrow to have a bit of a look I don't intend to buy I just intend to look um, but I do need to get a couple of new albums so I might pop a few of those albums on lay by I think um, but yeah I'm a bit excited to see it there's some little value packs they do that the mini core kits there's a baby one and I'm looking for forward to seeing what the baby girl one looks like because I'm making it intend to start an album for my baby niece um, so that would be handy to have so hopefully in my spotlight which is only in Queanbeyan I only have one here in around us in Canberra um, we'll have some goodies um, let me know in the comments below if you've hit up spotlight yet with their either online or in store um, I know some people have I've seen some photos on Facebook on the Project Life Australia group but yeah, let me know if you've scored any goodies and if it's, you know, any good, um, this new range. I'm really hoping to have some nice albums. I can't seem to find any albums I really like. I need to get a few new ones um, to continue adding. I think my the two girls here need new albums. I've filled theirs. We need a new family 2016 album so I can finish that off. Um, and as I said, I need an album for my niece. So hopefully they will have some nice ones there now this photo is quite a special one um, I've put believe in magic a little tag bit that was there what I've just journaled on there is why it's important so this is a photo of the three kids um, Beth Hunter and Hannah with their well, is their great-grandmother she's my grandmother um, who not long after this photo was taken um, passed away so it's the last photo I think I have of the kids with her so it makes it pretty pretty darn special um the kids are really close to her to my grandmother and i was extremely close to her so yeah this is one that always that definitely had to make the make the cut for the spread so yeah and as i said that's all i've journaled on that little dot bit at the bottom was just your last photo with grandma all right so i think i'm I don't do anything with those two little 4x3, 3x4 cards in the middle. Um, so the last, these last two photos I'm going to play with, and you'll see me fuss around. Um, this card, this, sorry, not card, this photo, I didn't like where that thicker went. Um, I just thought it blocked the faces too much. But I wanted, excuse me, I wanted to use it. So I moved it around, as you can see. Um, and here's the little flare badge I got. Actually, I think I when I won last month's <laughs> dealish um, scrap challenge, um, I got sent some goodies, and that flare badge I think was in it. So how appropriate to use it now? Uh, this an amazing day came in the May Kidaholic Kits printables. Um, I think it was supposed to be to do with Mother's Day, but you know what? I changed it. Um, and yeah. Put it on this car on this photo here. So yeah, nothing too much to explain there really. It's pretty 
just making sure that flare badge sticks. And again, it, it's that grey colour, grey, silver, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that just incorporated that a little bit more. That was, a, you know, a bit more obvious than just the sequins. I have to say I've pretty much kept this, what I'm doing, in focus for you this time. Usually I'm, I managed to get to go back to look at the videos to edit them and I've, you know, have to take bits out where I've been working on the photos or the cards <laughs> out of shot. <clears throat> so I'm learning. Now I do something a bit tricky here, not really, but clever I think. So these little arrows as well were part of the printables and I actually use my silver gel pen to write make a wish. So again, incorporates that silver. So just trying to use it in different ways that I can. I don't have a lot of silver apart from sort of that sequins and things like that. So I tried to chuck it in as best as possible. I'm just trimming it down so it fits. Oh no, trimming the foam tape, I think. No, just, yeah, so it didn't overhang <laughs> too much. And just popping a blue and a silver sequin on, and then that little photo bit card is done. Now this spread is just about finished. As I said, there's this one and then the photo at the top. Oh, no, I do. Actually, no, that's not. So I was looking going, this seems to have more on it than I still remembered. No, because I then go back and have a bit of a fiddle with cutting out some things with heart punches and washi tape. So we'll just wait and be patient. So that little card in the middle that says Sweet Life, I think that's what I work on next. Oh no, I'm adding something to here. Ah, oh, so I cut out on you, so you didn't have to see it all. <laughs> I got my little heart punch, the one and that I brought from Kmart, um, and some glitter cardstock, pink and blue, and have just cut out several hearts. Now I've popped a pink one there next to where it says Birthday, as you can see at the top, um, and this Sweet Life card. I liked it, but I felt it was missing something for this layout, um, being that it needed to be sort of glitzy and whatnot. Um, so I've decided to, as you can see, there it is, my lovely little pink heart punch. Nothing fancy, just from the Kmart scrapbooking section. Um, and I just pop a bit of washi tape either side. Don't know why, I just saw the washi tape. I'd never use it and thought I'll use it this time. Um, and, yeah, pop it either side of the little donut and that there and then add the hearts I've punched out and I actually end up doing a bit of a doodly border as such swirly border around the top and the bottom of this card just to make it stand out a little bit um, I just thought it was a bit plain and yes I know the washi tape doesn't match up and it did irritate me at first but I left it <laughs> Sometimes it just doesn't have to be perfect. It's only for us. Yeah, see, I, I, something, I don't know what it was, but for some reason I thought the card wasn't finished. And instead of just drawing a black line, I decided to do these little scribbly pieces, um, which you've probably seen in the close-ups at the top and the bottom, just to finish it off. It's sort of just, yeah, I don't know what, I can't explain it. For some reason to me, it just didn't look, that card did not look finished until I did this. So in a minute you're going to see, or in a second you'll see the close-ups for this. So I do hope you like this Project Life spread. Um, give me a thumbs up. As I said, leave me a comment about any recent spotty hauls of the new Spotlight range, the Project Life range that's hit the stores. Be curious to see what people have got and I think worth it. Um, and I will be back very soon. I have another uh, 12 by 12 I think is my next video to voiceover. So I will upload this one today and we'll try and do the next one probably tomorrow. 